2020 predictions and worries. We are halfway through 2020, and while we are slowly beginning to reopen our provinces, the future seems anything but encouraging. Imagine for a moment that Donald Trump is re-elected in November. The already stoked loony left all the complete meltdown. Incapable of accepting the results of 2016 and triggered by an extended lockdown, which at times has seemed interminable and constantly shifting goalposts, the Donald's re-election will send them spinning off into outer space. The results, while unpredictable, be anything but pretty. Canada will be just now stream from this reaction. Now let's imagine instead that Joe Biden wins. The United States will begin a slow descent into unchecked socialism with totalitarian-like living conditions. The Wuhan virus has given us a clear preview of what to expect with Democrats in charge of the country. If the voting public is not paying attention, and are either afraid to voice their support for Donald Trump or are at risk of believing the tsunami of fake news floating around, then I predict that Biden, once elected, will shortly be replaced by his VP pick, who will lead an already fragile nation off the cliff's edge. More chaos is sure to ensue, with leaders afraid to enforce the law and citizens becoming more fearful by the day. The stock market collapse, the working class believes any ability to function in an economy that is shaky at best, and the power-hungry politicians will grab ever more control over the masses, all the while reminding us that their actions are necessary for our own good. Either everyone will submit, or a civil war will break out. The one main difference between our two countries is that Americans have a Second Amendment and will be able to defend the, their homes, their businesses, and their families. Canadians will not be so lucky. Trudeau and his anti-gun lobby are making sure of that with their overzealous gun control laws. Already, King Justin is behaving as though he has an elected majority. Opposition is weak, and there is very little parliamentary oversight. Astonishingly, there are still those who support his incompetent leadership. Will he manage to call another election when he feels the time is right and grab back power? Hard to tell at this point, but it is worrisome just the same. If Donald Trump can win in November, and if we can reestablish law and order in this country, and if Justin Trudeau and the corrupt liberals can be unseated, then maybe, just maybe, there is hope for our two nations. But time is of the essence. Courage is of the utmost importance. And determination to preserve our Judeo-Christian values has never been more relevant to our survival.